So moving on from your first job, um, my first job was at Unilever, um, the toolbox of brand management and classical marketing, working on incredible brands like Dove in UK, in Europe, um, working in sales and um, working in innovation as well um, as part of a European team, or was it global? Um, so it was pretty epic stuff. So why would you leave? It was interesting when I look back because um, it's all about the year group and the psychology between you and your peers. I don't know um, how often that's the case if you're um, in a year group within a large institution or you're part of um, a group like the Marketing Academy. Um, you know, when is it support? When is it rivalry? I think... There was this feeling amongst some of us that um, there wasn't necessarily equality or actually we're all treated the same. And when other companies started knocking on your door, in my case, it was about three and a half years in, offering you um, management responsibility. I'd only managed a trainee in three and a half years. And we were ambitious and deemed to be, you know, the top intake of marketers in the country. So you can imagine the, the tension, particularly you're 25, 26 years old and somebody is dangling more salary, but which is quite appealing, certainly at that age, um, but more responsibility and more accountability. So part of what is now, I think, Premier Foods, RHM, came along, they'd hired an ex McKinsey consultant, Harriet, um, to be their marketing director and she wanted an innovation lead or an innovation champion as she called it and caused much amusement as it was on my um, business cards um, back in the 90s and um, I got to do something pretty incredible which was to run a team and my team included a Michelin starred chef um, the company had three fundamental brands, that particular part of a, of a much bigger food company had three fundamental brands, um, which were Bisto the gravy, Paxo the stuffing, and Saxa the salt. So the, the brief, was, brief was innovate, create new products and services around that. Michelin starred chef, Mitch, um, a supply chain expert, a technical kitchen with um, food development experts that worked in that kitchen. So a team, uh, suddenly a team of like five or six, um, some money. Um, we we worked with, um, I remember working with, with an agency. I moved from London up to the coast to Manchester and we worked with a Manchester-based agency called Blue Banana. I think that might have been run by ex-Unilever people. Um, Jamie Pete is at McCann. And... Um, so we got to do the whole thing, got to um, develop concepts, um, run research, um, find some of those lead concepts and make them real. So I launched um, Sources um, and under the brand of Bisto, Ambient, Ambient Sources, into Asda in the UK. I think there, there was a peppercorn sauce that, gosh, God knows if any of this stuff still exists. Did all right. Um, we explored things like frozen stuffing boards. I got to go and meet um, abattoirs and chicken manufacturers um, to try and do a chilled bisto meat dish that you would find in uh, the chiller. We started exploring chilled gravy. That looked to be too complicated. Um, but I think the issue there was whilst I understood the front end of all of that and had the energy and the drive and the creativity um, no one had taught me how to really manage and lead um, a team properly and I look back and I just oh um, I must have been a disaster um, I think I was kind of friendly but I was just all over the shop because I just never never done it so um, that was something that could have done a lot better and it, lack of experience on the end-to-end -end on the end-to-end -end journey when you're developing new products and services so um 
a great time those couple of years up in the in the northwest of England. Um, but I guess the 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 wisdom as the bold intern is wisdom and curiosity is look it's super important to be driven and ambitious um but think through the things that you're really drawn to do next and it's probably hard to be personally objective about that particularly if you've got ambition and drive you know there was particularly at that part of my life there was nothing i couldn't do um, make sure you've got a network. It could be friends, it could be mentors that give you some guidance and act as a sounding board for that. So um, that first leap, yeah, be ambitious, but be uh, considered.